Hi, welcome back to class. In this lesson, we will introduce the concept of transpose of a matrix. We will see some basic matrix transpose rules, and at, and at the end of the day, I will also use an example to help us relate our lesson on multiplication of matrices and transpose together. That said, let's get started. If I have a matrix A equals 4, 6, 7, 9, 2, and 5. You can find transpose of this matrix. Now, if you look at this matrix from our previous lessons, I hope you should be able to tell me the type of matrix it is. This matrix is a 3 by 2 matrix. It's a 3 matrix A. We say it's a 3 by 2 matrix. Why? Because it has Three rows and it has two columns. Here are my rows. This is the first row one, row two, and row three. And for the columns, here is my, are my columns. This is the first column, and here is the second second column. If I'm to find the transpose of this matrix, the transpose of a matrix we know is denoted as a raised to power c. And when finding the transpose of the matrix, one of the first things you must understand is that the rows become your columns and your columns becomes the row. That is, if I'm to transpose this matrix, my, mat my column four, my row, sorry, the row four and six become my first column, my second row will become my second column, and my third row will become my third column. And automatically, you see that your first column will become your first row, and your second column will become your second row. That is, this matrix A, which is a 3 by 2 matrix, on transposing it, I will have matrix A transpose, which will result into a 2 by 3 matrix. That said, let's transpose matrix A. Matrix A becomes, A transpose becomes, my first row will be my first column, that will be 4 and 6. My second row will become my second column, that will be 7 and 9. And my third row will be my third column, that will be 2 and 5. Obviously, the transpose of matrix A now leads matrix A T, which is a 2 by 3 matrix. Let's take this example. Now, for this question, it's obvious I have... To transpose the product of A and B. First, let's get started with finding the product of A and B. You notice that the matrix A is actually a 2 by 3 matrix, and the matrix B is a 3 by 2 matrix. Now, these two matrices can multiply each other because the number of rows or the number of columns in matrix A is the same thing as the number of rows in matrix B. And these two matrices obviously will yield a 2 by 2 matrix. We've explained this in our lesson on multiplication of matrices. In case you missed that lesson, please do not hesitate to check the description below where we've placed a link a link. Please do not hesitate to check the description below where we've placed a link to that lesson. So that A B will become have it as 2. 7, 6, 3, 1, and 5, multiplying matrix B, that's 4, 0, 3, 7, 1, and 5. Now, this can expand into, I have it as, I'll pick my first rule, multiply the first column, then the first rule again to multiply the second column. So that we have 2 times 4, Plus 7 times 3. Let's place brackets for easy identification. Plus 6 times 1. And for the second element, we have 2 times 0. Plus 7 times 7. Plus 6 times 5. Now here I'll have 3 
times 4. I'm picking the second row now to multiply the first volume. Plus 1 times 3. Plus 5 times 1. Then I'll pick the second row now again to multiply the second column times 0. Plus 1 times 7. Plus 5 times 5. Now this AB now should expand into 2 times 4. That will be 8. Plus 7 times 3. That's 21. Plus 6 times 1. That's 6. 2 times 0. That's 0. Plus 7 times 7. That's 49. Plus 6 times 5. That's 30. And I have 3 times 4. That's 12. Plus 3 times 1. That's 3. Plus 5 times 1. That's 5. And I have 3 times 0. That's 0. Plus 7 times 1, that's 7. And plus 5 times 5, that's 25. So that AB now can relate into 8 plus 21, that's 29. 29 plus 6, that's 35. 35. And 0 plus 49, that's 49. 49 plus 30. 49 plus 30, that's 70. 9 and 12 plus 3 that's 15 plus 5 that's 20 0 plus 7 that's 7 plus 25 that's 32 now we now have a b now since we have a b we can now find the transpose of a b finding the transpose of a b represent it as a b raised power t which is the same thing as Remember we said when you are finding the transpose, rows becomes your column, the column becomes my rows. So this will be 35 and 79 will change. This will become 79, here is 20, and here is 32. You observe that the first row now has become the first column. The second row has now become the second column. I, the column, the first column, has become the first rule. The second column has become the second rule. That I hope you understand how to work with transpose of a matrix. In case you have you have questions, please do not hesitate to use a comment section. We'll be there to respond to your questions. Thank you for staying with us and see you in the next class. Thank you.